I went up the Eagle Tower and later, I only learned it as Eagle Tower later. I didn't know the name of the tower. When I got to the top of it, there were eight kind of nobular looking things on, on, and aiming eight different directions, north, south, east, and west, and in between. And I kind of looked at them and they were in these notches like where you could fire arrows out from. And I was standing looking out over the island, uh, island of Anglesey, standing there when all of a sudden, in this vision, I was shot up into the heavens and looking down on the earth like you would look at a satellite picture. You see it every time you see the weather. It looked somewhat similar, and I had supernatural vision. I looked down and I saw a massive military movement coming out of uh, the uh, Icelandic waters up above Iceland. I couldn't believe my eyes in what I saw. I saw this massive military movement coming out of this area up in here. It came down between, in the Atlantic, down between the United States and Europe. It was marine and air, as you can see, the, the airplanes. This was my first confirmation, in a sense, from, a, uh, from General Walker. General Walker has given me many confirmations. This was my first picture of actually that they had drawn this assault taking place. It shows also the movement coming out of Europe uh, across to take these countries. And NATO command center is right in here. So you're looking at some very, very uh, serious fronts that Russia has been building and has. This massive military movement coming down between the United States and Europe just troubled me as I'm watching it. So then I looked off across at the United States wondering, well, if they're doing that across the Atlantic, what are they doing on the United States? That's too big to just be a, a maneuver. And I looked down, and as I looked across at the United States, I first saw the eastern seaboard of the Atlantic seaboard. And I looked, and I saw these submarines look like they were parked right along our beaches, all the way along the east coast. And what I mean by along the beaches is where the sands, if you fly and look down in the ocean at the clear water of the ocean, you will see the point where the, the beaches begin, the white sands begin to turn, and it gets darker, and you can see the edge of the beach, so to speak, or the sand that's washed back into the sea. They were parked with their hulls right at the point of where that sand was beginning to discolor and, and the floor of the ocean was coming through. And... I couldn't believe my eyes. I mean, they were all along there. And so I looked, because at that time we lived in Portland, Oregon. So I looked off across toward Portland, Oregon. And I saw these submarines along the Pacific coast. And I began to look all the way down as I looked down in towards San Diego. There they were along our coasts. And as I was looking down towards San Diego, all of a sudden I saw motion all across the United States. And these radio towers, it's like they were coming out of the ground and going up into the air. And then they were dotting their lines out like they were broadcasting. And I was made to, to know that they were sounding the alarm. But as they began to sound the alarm, all of a sudden the broadcasting signals went out and they sprinkled to the ground like dust. And I was totally aware, made totally aware in the vision, that the warning was not getting through. And I shouted in the heavens and I said, oh no, Lord, the warning isn't getting through. They won't even know what hit them. And as I said that, all of a sudden, the first missile fired out of a submarine and it went up and it hit right over New York City. I watched that city literally disintegrate into the atmosphere as that massive explosion took place. I mean, it was gone, folks. There'll be nothing left of that city. Then all of a sudden, I looked down along the coast and about where I would say be about Miami, Florida. And I told them down there last night, and they weren't too happy to hear that. And I said, and Miami disappeared. And then all of a sudden, because I was seeing this happen here, I looked away then. So I don't know if there were more explosions took place between those two as far as the coastal area. I didn't see it. My concern was over toward Oregon again because my family was in Portland at that time. As I was looking over toward Portland, I saw another explosion. It looked like it was in the area of Seattle, Bellevue. That area went up, just like New York and Miami. Then all of a sudden I looked down and here's another one going off and it looked like the San Francisco area. Then down about Los Angeles, just about to Los Angeles and then San Diego. I saw those five nuclear looking explosions and I tell you they literally devastated everything. Whatever was in their path, it went into the heavens. In the Russian invasion vision, 
I saw that massive military. I saw them hitting in on the nation and hitting our coasts and pounding them. And then all of a sudden I was back down on the Eagle Tower looking at a leopard away down into the village automatic because that's the position I was looking at standing in the heavens. And I watched the village. The cars are going normal speed. People were walking normal, talking normal. And I thought, and I don't know how long I stood there and watched thinking, well, are the alarms going to go off at any minute? If this is happening in the United States, they got to they got to know it. They've got to sound the alarms. If there's that kind of a military going down across the Atlantic now, there's got to be some alarms set off. No alarm went off. So I begin to settle in on that understanding. And so I uttered these words. Oh, God. If this is not happening then what will be the sign of it happening and of its time? That was my word standing there. As I spoke those words, these words were spoken very clearly back to me. December the 14th, 1986. When Russia opens her gates and lets the masses go, the free world will occupy themselves with transporting, housing, and caring for the masses, will begin to let their weapons down, and will cry, Peace and safety, and that's when it will happen.